and welcome to watching the endless stars my name is joseph today is saturday and it's a very windy day i don't want to be tossed around in the waves <laughs> so rather i will just be uh, i will just be going for bottom fishing i so i brought i brought a sporo to my wife's boat for bottom fishing and the reason i brought that is it's very Abidabi has got a major advantage over the other Emirates. We have a lot of islands and a lot of channels, so when it's really bad in open sea and you're being tossed around like a ragged dog, you can go between the islands. It's really sheltered over there. So that's what I did on this day. Um, but along the way, I saw sure. kingfish. I mean, we're in the season of ah. very small kingfish that are feeding all over the place. So I stopped. Catch and release. <laughs> I came to the channels between the islands. These waters are sheltered. It's been a long time since I came here. This used to be my, my favorite spot and I haven't fished here in a very long time. But the other motivation is wifey said uh, she's tired of eating trevally. So <laughs> So I have to try and uh, catch something different. So hence coming to between the islands. I haven't used shrimp in a long time. The boat was really drifting. I mean, the, the wind was bad, but the current was worse. Ah, that's <laughs> At least I'm not scared. Like I said, I hadn't fished in this place for quite some time. I had lost all reference to the places that were biting and this was a change as well. So I'd been searching and for a long time I wasn't catching anything until I came to this spot. So this was a surprise. Two at once after not catching anything for four hours. This was a relief. Oh, I have been nice. playing around, chasing birds, chasing and feeding frenzies until I came to this spot. And that's when I started caging. There's so much activity and after 
having spent quite some time on catching this was exciting. The first catch, the first catch was really nice. that the problem with the wind and the current. I kept drifting and losing this boat. I had to drive back and forth, back and forth, um, until I can go back to the original spot that I could catch. So here's a tip for pe people fishing in Abu Dhabi, in, in the Musafa Channel. If you go close to the edge of the water, very close to the edge of the water, but not enough to get yourself uh, beached in the boat, uh, this is where the fish is. I mean, when I was in the middle of the channel, nothing. As I went closer to the edge, that's when I started catching. As soon as I drifted out, again, nothing. So I had to keep on driving and going back. I didn't want to anchor, I didn't have enough time, so I kept doing that. It's too much wind, so staying in one place is really hard. Drifting way, way, way too much and too fast. Four fish in a very short space of time. That, that, that's really good. That's definitely right. Fish on. So if you notice all the, the fish that I was catching here was croaker. Uh, in UAE they call it Nanku. You know, it's that fish that produces this sound uh, when catch it. And I was using shrimp, just small pieces of catch. Just look at the band on that rod. This is why these small ones are very exciting to use. Sure. This one, it seems decent. This is a decent fish. I mean, it's a small rod, but this one feels different. Oh yes. And I had some small sea boons. Um, I think I caught about three of them. Most of the fish that I caught were croaker. This is much better fish. Whoa, look at that. So that's it. It's a much better fish. Croaker. These tiny rods are fun to, uh, to fish with. I mean, look at the band. Oh, right? It's like it bringing a monster from the depth. The closer I got to the shore, the bigger the fish became. And that I couldn't stay in that, in that, in that position because of the current. So I kept on dragging me down. They're big here. Yeah.
say here I was using shrimp so what I would do is take a whole shrimp cut off the hand cut off the tail and then um, the rest of the body just divide it into like two three or four pieces depending on the size of the shrimp I had some good catches I fulfilled the desires of my wife she was looking for this type of fish I'll keep moving and trying again uh, maybe I'll lock onto the position it's too windy so the boat is moving way too much before you know it you've drifted like Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and until we watch the next one.